My friends, I've got several things to tell you about. The status of a couple of projects have changed. A part came in that I want to show you, and I have an excursion planned with the boys this morning. We'll tell you all about it all right after this. My friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Tuesday, June 6th. And Tuesday reminds me that we will be at Dickie's Barbecue Pit this evening. Picking and grinning. If you're in the area and you can come join us, please do. We usually get started about 6 o'clock and go to around 8.30. Before I forget it, tomorrow will be the last vlog this week. Because Thursday morning, bright and early, I'll be headed down to Mountain View, Arkansas. And then, of course, Friday, we will not have a shop talk on Friday because I will be in Mountain View, Arkansas. So the next shop talk will be a week from this coming Friday. I mentioned a part had come in, so let me show you that. They're really proud of this part, too, by the way, because they have a special box that it came in. And it's a custom-made box just for this part, you can tell. So when you open it up, you get foam, you get another layer of foam, then you get this big thick thing of foam with an insert there. And then finally more, well, there's more foam on the bottom, but the part is in between. And this is, seems weird to protect it so much because it's very heavy. This probably weighs a good pound, maybe more than, maybe a couple of pounds. It's pretty heavy. But it's a, uh, I guess you'd say diamond encrusted or it's a CBN wheel. I don't know what they use on this. Is that diamond? I don't really know. But it's a CBN wheel and this is supposed to be in the profile of the sawmill blades. So this is what I'm going to put on my chainsaw sharpener and hopefully that little platform that I built and all that stuff to hold the blade will work with this. And I'm still working on that. I need to work on a on a uh, advancement so that it pushes the, the blade to the next point for this to, to cut. But we'll see how all that goes. I'm not going to have time to work on that probably this week. I'll get to that next week after I get back from Mountain View, Arkansas. If, by the way, you're going to Mountain View, Arkansas, and you haven't sent me an email yet, be sure to send me an email, rosastringworks at gmail.com, and I will send you the telephone number where we will be down there. If you haven't received an email from me yet, don't worry. I haven't got to all that yet, but I will get to it before we head down to Arkansas. I took a short video this morning of the status of the tire on the Massey Ferguson 35, so take a look at this. Well, here's the tire in its final form. It turned out it was an airlock problem, I think. It's possibly there was some kind of a clog in the line, but I, I'm assuming it was an airlock thing because every time I would blow through it with the air hose, it would drain very quickly after that. Yeah, it turns out that uh, there probably just was an airlock going on in that. I wouldn't have guessed an airlock because, you know, it, that bucket is open on the top and it's just a tube with gravity feeding it down into there. I guess because it's going into an enclosed inner tube, somehow that changes the game. Anyway, all I did was take it off of the inner tube, blow through it with air, and let it bubble into the bucket, stick it back on there, and it would drain pretty darn fast. It would drain five gallons in way under an hour, which before it wasn't draining a gallon in an hour. So that's all it took. I didn't, ha I didn't even have to raise and lower the tire. I mean, it's, it's amazing how that changed everything. So if you're trying to fill an inner tube with fluid, maybe try that. It might work for you. And finally, I mentioned I'm going to take the boys, my two youngest grandsons, on a little excursion this morning. We're going to go fishing on the Big Piney River. I was looking up last night on the internet and I found a, a public access not too far from here, about oh, 15 miles maybe. And we're going to drive down there and see if we can get our lines wet there in the water and maybe hook a little fish or something. I know the boys really do enjoy fishing, so we're going to try that out this morning and see how that goes. Wish us luck. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you would, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, please get that done. There's a lot more content coming.